If roads could speak, they'd ask to see what progress we're making. So we'd show them what we launched in 2021, a new way to deliver clean energy to any electric vehicle. Fully autonomous modular battery swapping, a way to finally make clean energy as quick, convenient, and cheap as gas. If roads could speak, they tell us to pick up the pace, which is what we're doing. Neo and Ample are certainly on a collision path as we stand at the crossroads of electrification. The race for infrastructure, the pursuit of innovation, and the quest for sustainable solutions shall all unfold before our very eyes. If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to Courtside Financial, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. Today, we're going to be talking about Ample, the battery swapping uh, EV startup based out of California and the implications that it may have for a company like Neo, who has plans to enter the American market. So this is going to be a pretty interesting episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below and click that notification bell icon because your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. These things really do help out small creators like myself. Now, as we've constantly pointed out, NEO is the dominant player in the battery swapping realm. They have 68% of market share in China, and I'm sure they have the most market share globally when it comes to battery swapping stations. However, a cloud of curiosity looms over their lack of uh, presence when it comes to battery swapping stations in the US. On the other hand, Ample, the California-based battery swapping station startup, already has battery swapping infrastructure on the ground in america in a way this is a tale of two contrasting stories although ample doesn't have that many battery swapping stations um, in the u.s and i don't think they have the level of technology that neo has when it comes to battery swapping as well because neo is a little bit more mature in that regard as we explore this further let's look at the partnership between ample and Fisker. This brings the concept of battery swapping to the forefront of the American market. But could this collaboration make battery swapping a must have for American EV drivers? And here's where the plot thickens. Ample claims that they're able to adjust their battery swapping concept to different EV architectures, has recently discussed that they're having discussions with several automakers about uh, being able to use their technology, but those automakers would have to re-architect their vehicles to match Neo's uh, battery swapping standards. Ample, on the other hand, Ample, on the other hand, is allegedly offering unparalleled flexibility. I'll have to admit that is a clever approach, and this is something that could limit uh, Neo to only being able to partner with a select few. But let's not forget the importance of infrastructure. Ample has already set foot on American soil, deploying its battery swapping stations in the U.S. already. While Neo has ambitions to come to the U.S., it's certainly caught up in a geopolitical whirlwind between the U.S. and China, and they're trying to navigate that as best as they can. The infrastructure race is crucial to Neo's success, as they've outlined in their respective markets, such as Europe and China. This is a concern worth pondering, don't you think? I think the biggest point here is what Neo's previously outlined is the infrastructure race. Uh, getting infrastructure on the ground is more important than deliveries right now because if you build it, they will come. Basically, if you have enough infrastructure, you'll have enough customers. Um, and obviously, they have zero infrastructure in the U.S. and a competitor is already uh, working on doing that right now, which is Ample. On the flip side, Ample has the opportunity to prove if battery swapping uh, in the U.S. is a viable option and a good technology for this market. Skeptics might recall Tesla's battery swapping trial in uh, Koalinga, but the question we have to ask ourselves is, even though they failed, was it a fair trial? Only a select few were invited and the allure of fast charging via superchargers just took attention away from the idea of battery swapping in the first place. It dampened the prospect of battery swapping and it leaves us to ask, 
did Tesla even give battery swapping a fair shot? As we navigate these uncharted waters, let's embrace the spirit of innovation. As the EV industry advances, many automakers could embrace the value of battery swapping. It's like witnessing the dawn of a new era and NEO's lead as far as technology and uh, amount of infrastructure in regards to battery swapping could be a defining factor. But what we don't want is for the US market to be taken out of NEO's grasp because competitors are laying down infrastructure a lot faster and sooner. So let's continue to ponder the possibilities, good or bad, and continue to witness the change going on throughout the EV industry. The road less traveled may lead to groundbreaking solutions, but not without its complexities and challenges. NEO and Ample are certainly on a collision path as we stand at the crossroads of electrification. The race for infrastructure, the pursuit of innovation, and the quest for sustainable solutions shall all unfold before our very eyes. Anyways, that's it for this episode of the Courtside Financial Podcast. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below. Definitely want to know what you guys think about um, Ample and NEO and NEO's battery swapping being able to work in the U.S. market or not. Also, join the free Courtside Financial Discord. We'll link that in the description below. You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Tons of uh, information coming from uh, several investors, EV enthusiasts, etc. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a week in recap, the segment on the Courtside Financial Podcast where we, where we recap the week's biggest episodes. Thank you.